Welcome to the Salon Owner's Holistic Blueprint, your podcast for unlocking the secrets to a thriving salon business through holistic practices. I'm Jacqueline Rodriguez, your host, and join me each week as we explore wellness, sustainability, and business success. Everything from attracting conscious clients to adopting eco-friendly practices. We're going to cover it all to elevate your salon business. Is your belief systems hindering your salon success? Welcome back to the Salon Owners Holistic Blueprint Podcast. I'm your hostess, Jacqueline Rodriguez. And today we're going to talk about beliefs, values, and how they weave into every single decision you make. So get ready to uncover the untapped potential that's been hiding beneath the surface in your subconscious. So I want you to picture this. Every single dollar you spend is like a vote, a vote that echoes your beliefs and values. It's a concept that has taken root in the business world. And as salon owners, it's important to take a close look at it. We're going to talk today about how your beliefs can guide your salon success. <clears throat> but before we dive in, I want to pause for a moment and recognize the intricate link between your beliefs and the salon, your salon's direction. You know that your beliefs shape our perspective and that your perspective guides every decision. If you view your salon as another place that is just a good at haircut and color, well, that's where your story is going to end. But if you shift that belief to see your salon as a powerhouse of transformation empowerment, you're setting the stage for something much bigger than just your typical salon. See, our beliefs often hidden in the background of our subconscious influences our choices in super significant ways. They affect every service we offer, the products that we choose, the messages that we send to our clients, every part of the business, and how much money you actually make. As a salon owner, you're part of a collective vote for value. Your choices, your purchases, and your investments send a message to the industry. And it's not just about you. It's your decisions affect your team, your clients, and the wider community around you. Think about it. Every dollar you spend on products and trainings really reflects what you believe is worth investing in. But let's go a step further. What if you gathered your team and you invited them to share their beliefs about their values? What they think is truly valuable when it comes to spending money on the salon related matters. And clients too, have their beliefs about their values. Take that into consideration. As a salon owner, it is your responsibility to align your offerings with what your clients and staff hold dear. By creating an experience that mirrors their values, you're showing them that you've heard their collective vote. See, as we navigate through this changing landscape in the industry, something amazing is happening. Clients are no longer content with mere transactions. And really, stylists aren't either just with working at any salon. They're demanding something bigger. They're looking for businesses that stand for more than just profits. They want to align their values, whether it is sustainability, inclusivity, cleaner and healthier products, or ethical practices. They want to align it with your business. And I think it's such a beautiful thing, especially if you choose to really lean into that and create something that is filling the gaps for these people who, you know, your clients and your staff who are looking for something bigger. Studies has found a whopping 64% of clients factor a company's values before whipping out their wallets. And this is also around 70% that want to support a business that stands for a cause. That's a huge shift. And it is only going to continue to grow as they become more and more aware. That's going to have a huge impact on our businesses everywhere. And that includes your salon. So how do we get into a practical state 
and really take action. First, you want to know what it is that you want. What does your clients, your team want? What's important to you? And how do you want to cast your vote? I really want you to take a look at what's important. Create a vision of what you want to cast your vote with your salon. I want you to take a piece of paper, write down your vision, every specific detail. And I want you to allow yourself to dream. Don't look at what is actually happening right now, what is in real life. Let yourself dream. If you had the absolute best version of your salon that stood for something, what does it look like? Now the next step is I want you to take an audit of your beliefs. Are they in line with the evolving needs of your clients or your vision? I want you to take care of every single little belief. So write it down, every belief you have about what it is, if it's possible or not, to create that vision you just wrote about your salon. And every single belief that comes up, no matter how crazy it sounds, I really do want you to write down every single belief word for word. And especially those ones that we tend to say over and over again, like for instance, maybe, you know, nobody's gonna want this. I can't find any team members that wanna be a part of my team or that wanna work or my clients are gonna freak out and just leave because they are gonna think I went crazy, right? And these are all things that I literally, my thoughts that I had when I went through this exercise. All of those beliefs, they are rooted in your subconscious and that's what starts to come up as you're making these decisions those beliefs are going to guide everything that you do. So it's really important to start looking at these beliefs, getting them out in the open, because once you actually look at them, all of a sudden you can see, like when you're, you're actually consciously looking at the beliefs, you can say, okay, that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Or maybe this is a true belief that you have and you, it really does hold you back then we can start looking at like, okay, how do we get to shift that? So that is a really big part of it. And when you're writing down your beliefs, I really do want you to look at those beliefs that keep coming over and over again. Like maybe products don't work as well as traditional products. Maybe you believe that it's too expensive or time consuming to implement a clean, holistic salon um, practice. Now, on another sheet of paper, on the opposite side, we want to start writing down something that refutes each one of those beliefs. So for instance, if I think it's too expensive and time consuming to shift over to a clean holistic business, on the other side of that paper, I want you to really take a look at that. Is that 100% true? Do you know for a fact, for a fact, for a fact that it is, this is the way it is? Or have you maybe not really researched it because you've just been taking everybody else's word on it? Maybe have you looked at every possibility, you know? Or let's just say another thought belief is like that nobody wants to come and work. Like you can't find stylists. Okay, is that 100% true? Or have we not been looking in the right places? Or have we not been very, very clear about our mission in the salon to attract the type of stylist who want to work with you. So this part is really important. So every single belief that you have, I want you on the same sheet of paper, just write a, or put a uh, mark down the middle of the page. And if you have belief number one, I want you to refute it. What lies come up out of that same belief? What's not true in that? And once you have that, take the time to really do this. Like, I really want this to be a big takeaway from you. Because when you start becoming aware of what you're thinking on a subconscious level, it is truly life-changing. Because then it's not just coming up with no awareness or just happening to really push every single decision you have. You actually take control and you can see the beliefs that have been maybe holding you back from the success that you've been wanting. 
Okay, the next step of this is a crucial one. On another sheet of paper, I want you to write down the opposite belief that refutes the beliefs that you had on the other one. So I want you to write down all the evidence of the truth in opposition to the lie. Look for all areas of your life as evidence and look for the evidence in others that you've seen actually take care of this or you know, be able to refute that belief. So for instance, the one belief of it being too expensive to shift your business into a holistic business or a clean beauty um, business. That belief, you've already written down the belief, you've written down what's not true about it, and then I want you to go ahead and flip it on its head and say, creating a holistic, clean beauty, sustainable business is really easy and it's not super expensive because I have learned how to make choices that actually make it easier and more affordable for me to do. So write down whatever the truth, whatever you want that truth to be, but it's really important to write it out exactly how you think about it. And then you want to do that for each one. So if you came up with 10 beliefs that are holding you back, then we want 10 of the new beliefs that you want to change your belief systems to. And make sure that you write it down every single, like word for word, because it's really important that you hear exactly what it is that you want. So in the Holistic Salon Academy, we go deeper into this and I start to teach you how to rewrite those beliefs into your subconscious so that they become your new way of thinking and the belief systems that start guiding your entire business. But in this podcast, we cannot go that deep, but I do want you to realize that these are crucial steps because you cannot change anything unless you are aware that it is there and that it is playing a huge role in your business for the good and for the bad. So now with this knowledge, I want you to make a plan for change. As you're making these changes, I know that it might feel hard. And I want you to look back at this list of beliefs that are not true and just keep remembering that you have a choice to change the beliefs so that it doesn't hold you back anymore. It really is time to elevate your salon's game and not only the game of the salon, but truly elevate your bottom line and your happiness in your business. Remember that this episode just isn't another chat. I don't want you to just like listen to it and go, okay, that was great. And then move on. I want you to take action. Your salon's entire destiny is stitched together by the threads of your belief system and the choices that you make. So embrace the power of belief evolution, challenge those old belief systems and allow new ones to come in, light up the path and help you to your path of success. So take a chance, take the time, take action and you know, re-listen to this. Make sure you go and download the PDF that I have for you so that you can see the steps written out and make sure you like, follow, subscribe, keep coming back for more because this is not just about listening. This is about taking true steps and actions, very, very clear action steps to creating that success in your salon. Thank you for tuning in to the Salon Owner's Holistic Blueprint. If you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to follow and subscribe. Until next time, stay inspired, stay passionate, and keep thriving in the world of holistic beauty.